fucked up. You say that, but these things have a way of working out. Oh, well. It's a good thing I have some savings. Watch yourself, you hear?
the 9th of June, 2024. We hereby begin the 52nd session of the... Minister, what's going on? I have shut off all power at the VNC Tower. The people of this city must not know the full extent of the virus outbreaks. Is this some kind of joke, General? Wait. You knew about it, Klarpovsky, didn't you? Do you want panic? A coup d'etat? We cannot lose control of the city. Why do you think the other council members were arrested? We need to speed up work on the THV Genmod and have it ready for use. The Genmod is not ready. You know that we have discovered highly dangerous side effects, right? The GRE does not recommend- Silence, Katsumi. In other news, a massive influx of migrants from Asia have massed the city gates in recent weeks. Tens of thousands of people. And the second largest camp in Europe, located in Greece, has collapsed. Its refugees are heading here as well. God. Thankfully, we've reinforced the new walls, and we suppressed the most recent THV outbreak. This is the last resort, General. These are families with kids. Humans like us. Remember? The Council of Mankind? The protocol states that... Spare me, Kobayashi. It's too late for all that crap. The GRE is becoming villain. At least that's what the people are starting to think more and more each day. You're pitting them against us, General. Nonsense. I am merely stating a fact. This is a travesty. A travesty.
detected. We have something in common, but there's also one big difference between us. I eventually got tired of roaming the world. Were you a pilgrim? I know, a female pilgrim. There weren't many of us, but that's why I was so good at it. No one would recognize me as a pilgrim. Some men thought that as a woman, it would be easier to deceive me, rob me. My fast reflexes and sharp dagger taught them otherwise. How'd you end up in Villador? I got this goddamn job. A guy wanted me to deliver a package to Villador. To some woman who was well known before the outbreak. Apparently she played video games professionally. Weird job, eh? Anyway, the guy paid me a lot, but on one condition. I couldn't know what was in the package. And that was my big mistake. I carried this damn thing for 50 kilometers. And with each step, it got heavier. I sneaked into Villador, found this woman, and delivered the package. She opened it in front of me. Turned out, it was a jar, with a human head inside. Whose head? I don't really know. I got the fuck out of there right quick. Is that why you quit the life? Well, I felt that, actually, that I was constantly running away from something. Maybe from myself. 
This is a big city. Even a pilgrim can belong here. Nobody judges you for what you were before, like they do in the smaller towns. Who you used to be beyond the walls. What you once did. They kept you on the move. You can disappear in the city. That's how I found my place. And what about you, Aiden? Don't you want to stop running? Yeah, maybe someday. But first, I have to finish what I started here. I understand. Just remember this. You can't run away from yourself. Good luck, Pilgrim. Are you the Baba? Some do call me that, yes. I need to find out if this is a poison. Can you help me? It's urgent. You don't need me. Take a swig, and we'll both find out soon enough. I'm serious. A woman's life literally hangs in the balance. Come on, help me, damn it. You fight for this woman. Yet, she is not the one you struggle to find. Hmm. Familiar, and yet... Yes, you must bring me the proper reagents. Reagents? <laughs> There's no time. Can this go faster? Fast as you want to down that bottle, boy. Are you game? Fine. I'll get you reagents. Where? They're scarce. But you might find some in the GRE Field Hospital in the Cathedral. You're back so soon. And what now? More lives to save. And this time I'm interested in your services personally. Uh, what is it that you do exactly? I concoct and sell everything. From healing elixirs to powerful wards against the infected. Ah, uh, snake oil then. You will address the Baba with respect. Oh, will I? Don't mind Corvus. He is, uh... Overprotective. Tell me more about your so-called elixirs. By the looks of what's in these jars, someone's been scavenging graveyards. They are talking about my ingredients, both rare and potent. I combine them to create wonders. Some emit a scent that can cause an infected to come running, no matter what lies in its path. Others? Pheromones that can cause most infected to flee madly. And still others grant fists of fire that will burn an opponent with each blow. Well, theatrics aside, I'm intrigued. Uh, tell me about your healing elixirs. I sell anything from salves for the gravest wounds to potions that cure illness and disease. A young man like you might wish to try my virility boosting. Uh, pass. I have my doubts, but I'm willing to try some of these items. 
I'm sure you'll be delighted. My elixirs are worth every coin. And they're derived from monsters? In part, yes. Some unusual mutations in rare creatures produce hormones with special properties. When I combine them with the right herbs and other compounds, I can create both powerful weapons and healing items. As it happens, I am running out of some key ingredients and could use some help, if you are willing to do some hunting for me. Why don't you send this guy? I am no errand boy. Hosh Garvas, this is why we're running low on ingredients and customers. You keep scaring people away. I'm not scared of monsters. Or your boy here. It's settled then. If you can hunt, I'll buy what you bring me. You stand to profit handsomely. What do you need? First, the brain of the rare demolisher. It contains a special enzyme. But how would you even know about that? The answer to that question might well drive even a man as strong and resilient as you. Stark raving mod. Right. Whatever. Where is it? A demolisher considerably larger than others of its ilk has been sighted in the park. Quite near. Bring me its head and I'll pay you well. One demolisher head. Coming up.
You're back. I thought maybe you'd given up on your lady friend. With reagents from the GRE. Is this poison? Let us see. Carefully stirring, I hold my breath. Will this heal or bring on death? Um... What was that? The kid is like that. A little rhyme to pass the time. <laughs> so? Is it poison? Not at all. These are antibiotics. Why? I haven't seen antibiotics for years. So, those couldn't be used to kill anyone? Not likely. These were made by a skilled herbalist. Exceptional work. I could go on. But didn't you see someone's life hangs in the balance? Supply shop down below. Not hard on the eyes either. You netted a great item. You ain't letting that big one get away. Been casting for one of those. with someone else than you. You ruined him. You ruined us, you bitch. Jolly, what are you doing here? I'm watching justice finally being served. Hey, zip it, ladies. It's a prison, not a wet market. Wait! Meyer, it's not poison. They're antibiotics. Antibiotics? Bullshit. There have been no antibiotics for 20 years. Get the fuck out of here. It's true. She made him. I'll bite. You drink. Down that stuff and prove it's not poison. 
Bottoms up, sunshine. Otherwise, she hangs. I trust the barber. Down the hatch. I hereby bear witness. This man drank the contents of this container. This is no poison. In light of this new evidence, Elena will be set free. No! This can't end like that. Thank you, Aiden. I owe you my life. Where will you go? Anywhere, as long as it's far from here. They looted my apartment during the night. I have nothing left here. I certainly am too well known to play my usual trade any longer. Oh well. Onto greener pastures, as they say. You know she would have taken everything from us. You did the right thing, reporting her to the guards. I did what you asked. I found what you needed to know. Jolly, what is he talking about? Oh, just a little competitive research, Dad. To boost business. Wait here. I'll be right back. You failed, Aiden. Elena's still alive. Oh, no, the deal was to find out the truth, not kill her. How did you convince your father to call the guards on her? It wasn't easy, but I panicked. Didn't know if I could trust you. Turns out, I couldn't. Just get away from me. I don't want to look at you ever again. Contact with the boys at the electrical substation. What's going on? Don't know, but we have to reconnect the power. Some of our boys have already gone into the tower. <laughs> There's no one closer than you. Will you check that out? Yeah, uh, sure. I'm on it.
ASAP. God damn it. The area is swarming with renegades, bro. But I'm handling them. What the? Where did we go, bro? Bro, I took care of the renegades. Good work, Aiden. Power up that substation. Bath. <sighs> discovered a new location that's supposed to be filled with well-preserved books. Stop by when you can. Inhibitor container nearby.
Goddamn ass and power up that substation. We're waiting. On it. You're welcome, hothead.
It's just past 8, June the 14th, 2022, and you're listening to Villador News.
On Tuesday, we witnessed the beginning of a mass exodus, the largest in human history. Governments are paralyzed and the GRE have fallen silent. People have lost hope. Hundreds of thousands of refugees from Gibraltar to Istanbul have gone looking for new homes. Their only wish, safety for themselves and their families. But this is a global catastrophe, not confined to Europe. Martial law in America is aggravating a country already in chaos over fuel rationing. Japan, hit by a variant of the THV, has been decimated. And here, across Europe, borders are quickly closing. Why does the GRE remain silent while so many voices cry out for help? We have no means to travel, except our own feet. I can't go on much longer. But if we stop, we die. We drove 800 kilometers, but they told us to turn back. Back to where? Might as well start digging our graves right here. They attacked my mother the moment we arrived. I just pushed her out of the window. I blamed the GRE for this madness. They turned their back on us the moment they let the virus leak from their labs. Turned their backs. So we could not see the money changing hands to pay for covering this all up. For Villador News, this is Clarissa Mortimer. The power's surging! Thanks for the help, PK Dog. Now, be a good boy and get lost! No, it's time for you to leave. Or else. Was that a threat? Mm. I'm shaking in my steel toe boots. Fellas! <laughs> Think he'll squeal like a stuck pig like his buddies did? Let's check and see. Yeah. Powered on. I don't know what Bro, you receiving? Are we receiving? Everything's shining like a fucking Christmas tree over here. <sighs> Is everyone all right? Yeah. Boys are going deeper into the building. The area will be secured soon. Haul your ass over here. Time to do some climbing. I know of one that's unoccupied. 